Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan And yes, we are here for the first video this 2021 The Intel 10400 versus the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 The intention of this video is para ipakita sa inyo mga kaibigan Kung still relevant pa rin ba or mayroon pa rin ba tayong dahilan Para i-consider ang Intel Well, in general, alam naman na natin mga kaibigan That AMD is really the clear winner In terms of performance, in terms of benchmarks, marami na rin tayong na-release dito sa ating channel that yes, it shows that AMD is really better processor to consider even with the stock market, makikita rin natin that mas mahal ang value ng AMD over Intel. So nag-flip na talaga ang market over the decade. Pero... Like what we do with AMD before, nung na, sila naman yung nasa inferior side, is we always try to look for something sa AMD that can give us enough reason to consider AMD before, nung hindi pa masyado ang Ryzen or uh, nung nag start pa lang na mailabas ang Ryzen. And that is always about the price. Kadalasan kung bakit natin consider ang AMD before is dahil mas mura. Now, what we witnessed recently is same na same kung anong sitwasyon ng AMD before. We found Intel processors at a cheaper price point and yet with a better performance on some, on some benchmark, not in general. Kaya yun yung pag-uusapan natin mga kaibigan kung ano pa yung natitirang dahilan that you may consider Intel over AMD based on budget and based on purpose. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or $700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. So para gawin yung simulation mga kaibigan, what I did is I have a B460 Asus ROG and another B550 Asus ROG para medyo mas ma-replicate natin ng mas maayos dahil nga on par or almost the same yung mga models ng motherboard at the same time yung brand na ginamit natin is the same. The frequency of the memory is a 3600 that can be taken advantage by the AMD over the Intel. Kaya dun sa memory medyo lamang or kung bago may unfair advantage dun sa AMD. And then for the chassis, I chose to show you yung Techware Nexus Air, so yung mesh na variant nila, and to preview narin yung build kung sa kaling magi Intel ka. Eh, to narin yung ginamit ko with Aza AIO cooler. And yes, the Zotac RTX 3070 video card. So yan po yung ginamit nating video card to compare both processors. Na ang pinagkaiba lang talaga nila is beside don sa processor, yung motherboard lang yung magkaiba. RAMs and everything is all identical. Okay, now let's jump onto the benchmark. When we did the benchmark. Pagdating sa production, of course, Blender is one of the uh, most used software. Pagdating sa rendering, AMD is way better than Intel. The minutes advantage of uh, 12 minutes plus versus 17 uh, plus minutes, that's too much to consider AMD over Intel with the Ryzen 3600 versus 10400. Pero pagdating naman sa gaming, dito ngayon medyo nagkatalo. Well, before na-release ang AMD 5000, which is, uh, kumbaga, tinatarget niya yung last na alas ng Intel na gaming, kung saan dito siya mas dominant ng konte, eh merong 3600. And yes, same with this year 2021 with updated operating system of Windows, updated drivers, and of course, the all-new video card from NVIDIA, lamang pa rin ang Intel 10400 over AMD Ryzen 5 3600 kung gaming lang din yung pag-uusapan. But this is 
for the 1080p resolution. Makikita nyo dyan sa mga graph mga kaibigan, lahat po yan is na render sa 1080p resolution para mas makita talaga yung performance ng processor. Pero given this year, 2021, that 1080p is already a bit, kumbaga, hindi mo na siya consider kasi medyo nagmumura na rin yung mga 1440p resolution. Then of course, we also showed you the real gaming performance or comparison between the two processors. And makikita nyo dyan sa Dota 2 po, is sobrang dikit lang din naman nung kanilang FPS difference. Kumbaga, it's not really noticeable pagdating sa real-world performance. That is for the 1440p resolution. Well, sabi nga nila, in the end of the day, the main contributor pagdating sa performance ng gaming is video card, which is right. And if we look at the Dota 2 at ganyan yung uh, advantage ng uh, 10400 over the 3600, I will still go for the 3600 dahil mas malayo namang mas maganda ang kanyang performance pagdating sa processor and sa production. Which is really true. Ngayon, ano pa ang dahilan natin why we should consider 10400? That is if medyo tight yung budget. Because 10400 got this variant na 10400F, walang integrated uh, graphics, same lang din naman din yan sa AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Wala rin namang integrated graphics. Yet, mas mura siya ng almost 3,000 at the same time, kung gaming lang din naman yung purpose mo at saka 1080p resolution, considering medyo nagtitipid ka, automatically, you may think twice to consider Intel 2. Ngayon, I'm not trying to convince you mga kaibigan to consider Intel. I'm just showing you kung ano yung pwede nating maging dahilan if in case lang na mamimili tayo on both. Kasi alam ko rin naman na meron pa rin namang mga reasons that cannot be answered if you will go Intel. Like for example, upgrade path. There is a doubt that in the next three years, upgrade path is still some marketing selling point of AMD. Dahil may i-release na rin naman yung bagong memory. Even the motherboard is compatible with the next uh, generation of processors given na these are DDR4 motherboards and pa-release na yung bagong uh, uh, RAM in the market, then the upgrade path consideration for the AMD will be a bit doubtful. Well, hindi ko pa siya mako-confirm. Hindi pa natin mako-confirm kasi parating pa lang yun mga kaibigan. So what we can just state right now is what we see and what we have and what uh, news uh, tells na yes, the AMD is still, in general, the better processor in terms of overall judgment. Pagdating sa upgrade path, performance overall between production and gaming, and at the same time, overclocking. Kasi yun din naman po yung isang downside din ng Intel 10400 over the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. So yung natitira lang na pwede nating maging rason, is yes, budget. Kasi ang AMD is now going to stick kung ano yung price niya dati, kahit merong bago, yun pa rin yung price niya ngayon. And that is what we didn't expect. And that is also the effect of, yes, what's happening right now, like uh, lawsuits going on, cases uh, going on against Facebook, Google, uh, YouTube, um, Alibaba, na Monopoly, Possibly, yun yung mangyayari. If Intel cannot cope up with AMD, it will end up na magkakaroon ng monopoly. Until hindi nagkakaroon ng magandang competition between the processor market, we will expect that the price will still uh, stay or even the worst pwedeng tumaas. 5600X, magkano ngayon? Yun lang yung isa sa mga proof why it's better still na magkaroon ng competition between sa ating market kasi tayo pa rin yung makikinabang. So that's it mga kaibigan. Thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe. Comment down below kung mayroon kayong mga gustong idagdag or questions. Feel free to comment down below. We're back. We will upload more videos soon. Upcoming video is, uh, yes, the accessories from uh, Asus, uh, ViewSonic monitor, a uh, couple of monitors here in this channel, and yes, PC build. By the way, 
Kung hindi nyo po nakikita pa yung 20k PC build natin dito sa ating channel, just uh, look back sa ating uh, previous 5 posts. Nandyan po yung ating 20k PC build. And yes, susundan pa rin po natin yan with another updated budget PC build for this year 2021. Kaya keep posted lang mga kaibigan and thank you so much.